Today we are in Tampere. Hüve Peve and Terve Tola in the sauna capital of the world. If you are longing for a nature vacation, this is the right place for you. We will show you the Tampere region in 5 minutes. But before we go to the city, we are first heading to the forest. We want to learn how to move safely in a Finnish wilderness. First lesson, making a fire. We are now in the south of Tampere in the forest and I have Markus with me and he will show us a few skills for the wilderness. Markus, what are we going to do here? Well, first of all, to get you boys warm, we need to get a fire going. Now, we've already prepared a ton of wood by chopping it smaller. What we still need, because we're just using a flint and steel today, we need some stuff, to, the smallest kindling to, to take that smallest flame that we're going to get. And for that we're preparing something called feather sticks. This is something that if you have four or five of these, you're going to get a fire pretty easy. We put the wooden sticks on top of each other like a teepee. Then you have to use the fire stick. The friction creates sparks and ignites the fire. Go again. Oh, again? Yeah. Very good. Okay, oh. now take the take the piece, take this piece, take it, and move it in there, in there. Good. That looks pretty good. Thomas, how was it? Uh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, according to the Everman's right, everyone can move freely in Finnish nature, regardless of who owns the land. After this exciting afternoon, we are going to visit an authentic sauna. And let's see, we will jump into the cold water. In Tampere, there are over 50 public saunas where you can relax all year round. And after the sauna, we are going to the water to cool down. Today it's about 10 degrees Celsius. In winter, it's freezingly cold here. Now we can call you a Finnish guy. <laughs> now I'm with Finnish. <laughs> We check into our hotel, look at the city map and are excited to see what's next. From the outside, Tampere Cathedral looks like a fortress. Inside, you will find many nice wall and ceiling paintings. The industrial history of the city began in the Finlayson area. In fact, a huge textile factory was built here in the middle of the 19th century. And if you walk through the main gate, you will follow the thousand footsteps of the former factory workers. In the old stable buildings of the factory owner, you can find craft stores and cafes today. We finished our great day in the Periscope restaurant over the roofs of Tampere and we will have a special menu. Mmm, yummy! And so much action is enough on the first day. Good morning from Tampere. We slept 10 hours, but we really needed it. And today we are going to hike in the nature, but first breakfast. After breakfast, we'll go by car to Kintulami National Park, about half an hour from Tampere. Kintulami is really a great nature reserve. There are some places where you can make your own fire and also very well marked hiking trails. All fireplaces are individually designed for their location. The trails have been designed with natural and ecological implementation in mind. The people from Finland are meant to be the happiest of the world, but why? Here in the village Niemikapi, we get a little bit closer to the answer. This is a piece of paradise on earth. The cottages are fully equipped and even have their own sauna. Tampere is the sauna capital of Finland. Most of the saunas are heated up with wood. It takes some time, but it's worth it. The location on the lake shore is great for a canoe trip in the nature. I'm preparing our hot tub for a relaxing evening, only two of us, and this in the middle of the forest. What about a glamping experience? Here you can sleep under the sky and observe the stars. Oh my god, they really have everything here. Like Finnish wildlife playing cards, we will play them later. And the best of it, Prosecco. We light the fire again and say goodnight. Hey, hey, Tampere! And Helsinki is only two hours from here, so watch our video Helsinki in five minutes. 